I'm going to quickly make a video on the community balance patch from October 4th. So I'm going to start with chassis parts. Medium and light cubes got a 200 health per CPU buff. The, the main alternative, mega shields, have already been weaker than this since like forever, so... Or since not forever, but since they were actually nerfed and that meta finally got quieted down. Rods... Um, some random change to diagonal 2D rod to have a tiny bit less CPU. Negligible change. Basically did nothing. Electro shields. All the single attachment point electro shields got a 13% health buff. Makes them actually maybe worth using. Struts got a 12% health buff to the two uh, attachment point struts, and a 9% health buff to the four attachment point struts. I don't really know why. Because struts seem fine already. I don't really see why they're... I, I don't see the need to increase their health at all. And that's that's all for the chassis parts. Now, weapons. Laser is one of those changes that I can't exactly quantify with numbers. Because the the, the terminology for all the different uh, all the different stats is really weird. So I'll just take one of my builds you've seen in one of my videos, probably, and just show you. So... I'm going to continuously fire at this target. See how slow that was? Now I'm firing bursts of two. Every other shot is inaccurate. Now I'm spam clicking. Perfect accuracy. Isn't that weird? As much as I like laser going in the correct direction and like having perfect accuracy, it might be slightly OP in some cases, and also makes way for um, macros that just spam left click for you, which I don't think is a good idea. And then next on the list is Plasma, which got a 14% projectile speed increase, which is very noticeable. That noting that is really important for uh, like a minute from now. So I'm going to take one of my planes, and that else also they got a 10% energy buff, which is huge. The closer you are to energy regenerate of consumption, the more a 10% buff will matter. Like you can just already tell that it's better. That's all there really is to say about plasma. It, it's easier to hit things with now. Now, we get to the trash fire. Whatever on earth happened to arrow flak? Projectile speed on flak was increased to 4,000. Trigger radius reduced to 10. Base inaccuracy killed. And then the stacking was changed and, you know, the range was shortened, which is fine. Flak isn't what it was before. A 14% projectile speed increase on plasma was extremely noticeable. And, like, it's so much easier to hit stuff with plasma now. And that was from 14%. So once you go into the realm of a thousand percent, it's like, well, you don't even need to lead shots anymore. It's just effectively just a laser. Range, fine. Sacking changes, fine. Projectile speed and trigger radius, not fine. And pretty much the same goes for tier five, except with a different fire rate. Now the thing is, when I played Flak before, it actually felt decent to use, because it's a unique weapon. You have to, you know, lead shots and stuff, but you don't have to be perfectly precise. That was, like, the entire point of its existence. And now, it's just fucking laser. It's literally just, like, a laser, but it explodes on air units and does nothing to ground units. Like, hello? And now the question I have is, why, why did they do this? And the answer I usually got is because flak wasn't skill-based before, and it is now. But I personally hate that argument because, well, one, ruining a weapon for the sake of skill-basedness is like how to kill a game instantly. And two, after they buffed the freaking homing missiles, the, the, it's so ironic it's going to start rusting. And like, in my opinion, flak is less skillful now because it's not unique. You aim it exactly like a laser, and it hits stuff exactly like a laser. In fact, it would be easier to hit things if the crosshair didn't suck. It frustrates me that they do such wild, recklessly aggressive changes 
to weapons without really asking themselves what they're doing. Because if they were going for skill-basedness, missiles would have never been buffed. And I, I have had way too many instances of literally just, like, flying directly past someone that's using arrow flak with this plane and with a hover plane I built recently. So my overall, like, rating for this balance patch is, like, a 5 out of 10. They ruined a weapon completely, but it did improve some stuff. Mainly lasers. Lasers might actually be a part of the meta once, or for the first time in ages. So, that's it. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching, I guess. <laughs>